Hey everyone, this is Scott Ottman from directresponsecontentmarketing.com and I'm here today with another video about attention. And today what I want to talk to you about is what I call the secret of the reticular activating system and how it's the only way to capture attention. If you're wondering why I'm talking about attention in the first place, check out my previous video titled Without Attention, There Is No Marketing and you'll get a clue about why I'm focused so much on attention. But today what I want to talk to you about is the reticular activating system. It's a portion, or not a portion, it's a part of the brain that allows us to focus and pay attention to some things and to ignore and block out everything else. If we didn't have that part of our brain, we'd be going insane from all of the st stimuli that's coming at us every single day. The sounds, the, the smells, the audio. I guess I just said sounds, huh? The sounds and the audio. Um, all these different sensations would overwhelm us. We would never be able to actually focus. But the reticular activating system allows us to focus and to block out the rest. A, an example of it might be if you are a parent and you had your first child and you suddenly are walking down the street and you're noticing everywhere people seem to have kids. Newborn kids seem to be everywhere. And you start to think, is everyone having babies suddenly? Suddenly, Did I say suddenly? I don't know. You can rewind the video and see if I said suddenly or some other word. Um, but the, the answer to that question is people have been having babies since the beginning of time. It didn't just suddenly happen now that you have a kid. But what happened is now that babies and newborns are something that you focus on and think is important, suddenly... You're, you pay attention to them. Suddenly you notice what has always been there, but that your reticular activating system was ignoring. Now think about that for a second. If it's something that you think is important, boom, beep, it registers on your reticular, reticular activating system. And that's the same for any prospect that you're trying to get to read your copy, your content, or any other type of marketing. And so the key, again, is to go back to what I've talked about in my previous videos. The thing that you need to pay attention to first is your prospect. You need to figure out what is important to them. I've talked about this in some ways so that you can wiggle in and get through the reticular activating system. Because the reticular activating system is either going to be your friend if it deems you worthy or dubs you worthy. I don't know one of those words work. Um, and it's going to be your enemy. If, it, if the reticular activating system decides that your marketing, your content, whatever it is, is not worthy. And so the key is going to be to tie your content into things that matter to your prospects and or to tie into things that are uh, pattern disruptions in their life. Is there a plural of pattern disruption? I don't know. I just made it up though. Um, the temptation is to just want to create content or marketing or copy that is like everyone else. And obviously we can learn, we can have swipe files, we can, we can get ideas from other great content or copy. But we do not want to just sound like every other blog post, every other video. Because if we do, the reticular activating system will just say, it's all the same, ignore it. That's why you can't just have um, a blog post about tips on how to rank in Google search. There's like, I don't even know, type it in. There's like, what, a million different articles on that topic? If you want to create content or a copy that is going to stand out, you have to figure out a unique way to break the pattern, to disrupt the pattern so that you can get through. And so you might want to say um, 17 and a half SEO tricks learned from my kindergartner. I don't even know if that's possible, but do you see what I'm saying? It breaks the pattern. Suddenly the reticular activating system says, hey, hold on a second, this is different. So those are the two keys. Realize, first of all, before I get to the keys, that there is a reticular activating system that you need to break through with your content or your copy. And as a content marketer or direct response marketer, you need to figure out how to either hone in on the things that are important to your prospects and create content that they care about and they will notice because they care about it. Or you create content or copy that stands out, that breaks the pattern.
Because then the reticular activating system in your prospect's brain will say, hey, pay attention to that because that is something different. So that's your tip for today. Hopefully it was helpful, helpful for you. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. And really quickly, if you haven't subscribed yet, all you got to do is just click the little button on your phone or move your mouse over or on, on the mouse pad and click it. Um, also, check out our site, directresponsecontentmarketing.com. I've come up with a completely new way of thinking of marketing, a, two, a new type of marketing that I think you might be interested in. I have a free membership area where there's resources that I've already put up there that you can get a hold of and there are going to be more resources and in future days and weeks I'm going to be posting video that is exclusive just for my members on directresponsecontentmarketing.com. Anyway, thanks a lot for taking the time to listen today. Take care.